Hi, this is Trey, and this is the first of our series of five minute genome tips, and this one is called Jacob's Recessing Goats. Many hundreds of years ago, there was a man who lived in the desert, and his name was Jacob. And there was a woman in this desert, and her name was Rachel. Jacob loved Rachel. Jacob begged Rachel's father, Laban, to let him marry her. But as fathers are wont to do, he said, No. But, Laban said, if you work for me for seven years, you can marry my daughter. Jacob wasn't happy. Seven years is a long time for a man in love, especially if that man has to herd a bunch of stinky goats for those seven years. But dutifully he herded the goats for his soon-to-be father-in-law. At the end of his servitude, he was happy, and he went to Laban. I'm ready, he proclaimed. Good, said Laban. Here's my daughter, Leah. Huh? said Jacob. But I... Laban explained to him that he promised his daughter, but not which daughter. As was custom, he had to marry off his oldest daughter first, Leah. Leah wasn't quite as comely, but as a consolation, Laban told Jacob that if he worked for another seven years, he could marry Rachel. After determining that Laban had no other daughters but those two, Jacob agreed. So dutifully, he married Leah and went back to herding stinky goats for yet another seven years. Suffice it to say, he was getting to know those goats pretty well. So after fourteen years of herding goats, Jacob went back to his father-in-law and said, I'm ready to marry Rachel, and Laban relented. They married and went back to herding goats and other non-goat kids. It wasn't too long before Jacob, Leah, and Rachel's big love produced a crop of children and the family prospered. After a while, Jacob returned to his father-in-law and declared that it was time to strike out on his own. Laban agreed and asked what Jacob would need. Jacob smiled that crooked smile of his and said, Let me have the spotted goats in your herd, and you can have the black ones. Since spotted goats were rare and black ones were plentiful, Laban liked the request and agreed. Then Jacob, with another smile, said, And any goats in my spotted herd that are black, you can have, and any goats in your black herd that are spotted will go to my herd. Well, fine, said Laban, who thought to himself, Black goats are common and spotted goats are rare, so I'll have nothing to worry about. I'll have a big herd. So Jacob separated the spotted goats from the black ones, and then he made a spotted stick out of a tree branch and stuck it in the watering hole. His hope was that the stick would magically make both herds of goats have spotted kids. Well, it worked, something, because Jacob's spotted herd had only spotted goats, while Laban's black goats had black kids and spotted kids. So Jacob's herd grew very fast, and every kid born in his herd was his, and many of the kids born in the other herd were his too. Soon his herd of stinky spotted goats was large and growing, and Laban's herd of black goats had grown very slowly. Laban saw this and exclaimed, What the? It was not at all what he expected. So Laban had to relent. Jacob, Leah, and Rachel took their large herd of stinky spotted goats and their large herd of stinky kids of the human kind and set off on a new adventure. We could forgive Laban's expectation that the deal would work in his favor. Most goats are black and few were spotted. Of course he'd end up with a large herd and Jacob's herd would remain small, but it didn't work that way. The spotted goats had only spotted kids and the black goats had black and spotted kids, so Jacob's herd grew quickly. Was it because of a magic stick, or perhaps the power of a mysterious god, or perhaps God knew the science but just didn't have the time to explain to a young love beside a desert shepherd and told him to put a stick in it? Perhaps Jacob was just very observant, or perhaps it was none of the above. In a land not quite as sunny as the desert, called Austria, some several thousand years later, there was a monk named Gregor Mendel. He didn't herd stinky goats, but rather liked peas instead. Peas weren't quite as stinky, tasted better, and have you ever had goat? And were much easier to breed and raise. Using peas, he systematically figured out the hidden secret of heredity. That's the subject of our next five-minute genomics tip. Hope to see you there.